All right, I think I'm recording here. Let's take a look and make sure. Yep, I'm recording. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys on a ride with me on a, my commute to work. So let me get my my top box opened up here. And this is what I use to carry my lunch bag and my coffee cup and my thermos. And I put all this in there. And the lunch bag goes in, thermos goes in, coffee cup goes in. I love this little top box. It's not too big, but it holds holds what it needs to hold. And it locks down, I don't have to worry about it. So, let's see, what's the date today? May, May 24. Hope I got this mic right. It's 44 degrees. A little bit chilly this morning. So I'm going to try to slow my ride down a little bit. Hopefully I won't have a whole lot of wind noise and you'll still be able to hear me. Let's get the bike powered up. Full battery, that's always a good sign. Just took it off the charger. And away we go. See if I can get my mirror adjusted a little bit. That's better. I always end up bumping it when it's in the garage. All right, so we're gonna start out kind of slow here. It's just going through my neighborhood. Now, I would say probably 90% of my ride is residential. Bump up the speed a little bit. We'll go up to three. What's heck this guy doing? Maybe he's just letting me by. I don't know. That's kind of odd. So. Actually a beautiful morning. A little chilly, but not bad. Better than those 30 degree days I was riding to work. It's supposed to warm up today. It's supposed to go to 68. I was supposed to go to 62 yesterday and I never made it. Okay, so this is the main road that I take most of the way, and it's not really a main road. It's only a two-lane road. Speed limit's anywhere from 25 to 30. And it's it's a nice, it's a safe road. And this is what I like about it. You see this 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 side where it's, uh, you've got the white line off on the side here. That's, you know, the parking area. There's not a whole lot of cars park here, so for the most part, I have a nice protected area to ride in. Oh yeah, eyes are watering already. <laughs> it's cold. I have allergies. So when I come up to a light like this, I usually like to get out of the street. I get up on the sidewalk. I like to get up out of the street. So, I'll just wait for my, my green light. Wow, it's quiet. <laughs> There's like no cars out. It's uh, seven o'clock, right around seven o'clock. 
I don't have my cell phone in the holder. I got it in my pocket. All right, green light. I use a little throttle to get going. Once I get going, I hear a car. Once I get going, uh, I pedal. I try to share the road, stay out of the car's way. Most people that have these bikes like this, you know, these moped style bicycles, they don't pedal. Most of them use throttle. There's some guys like me, you know, some people like me that, you know, the bike, it, it fits me really well, so I pedal. I, I find it very enjoyable. Um, like I said, I'm 5'9", 32 inch inseam, and I can pedal this bike. It, um, I, I pedal it everywhere I go. I very rarely use the throttle. The only time I really use the throttle is if I really got to zip across an intersection real fast because I don't like to I don't like to waste time in an intersection. It's just dangerous. So I always try to get through them as quick as I can. The only other time I use the throttle is just on takeoff. Once I get going, I let go of the throttle. I just pedal. Um, and you know, I I try to be. What's the word I want to use? I, I try to portray a good image for cyclists when I'm on the road. Um, you know, I ride this thing a lot. I ride it every day. If it's not raining, or it's not gonna rain, I'm on the bike. Um, so, so, you know, I see a lot of things on the road. I've I've, I've noticed a lot of things with, you know, vehicles and how they drive and well, let's face it, society right now is, is kind of a wreck. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a train wreck, really. I mean, it's, it seems like right now everything is me, me, me. And there's no common courtesy. There's no respect for your fellow man. Heck, people don't even respect themselves half the time, but, you know, I just... Um, you know, I try to obey the laws, be courteous, uh, you know, try to be safe, protect myself, and enjoy my bike, because I really do. You know, I, I really like this bike, and I really enjoy riding it. Um, yeah, I have a vehicle for, for, you know, bad weather days, but if it's not raining or snowing, I'm on it. Uh, I'm in Michigan. I'm in the Detroit metro area. Uh, so, you know, we have weather. I, I don't like riding this bike in the winter because, you know, Michigan uses salt on their roads to handle the snow, and, and I don't like subjecting my bike to that. Salt is very corrosive to steel and, and aluminum, and you know, I don't want to trash my bike. I take care of it. So, you know, I... Michigan really kind of stinks as far as uh, bicycle friendliness. It's not a real bicycle friendly state. And what I mean by that is uh, there's very few bike lanes. Now there's, there's, you know, bike paths. You see those all over the country, you know, where people, you know, walkers and regular pedal bicyclers, uh, they use these these trails, and they're nice paved trails. The only thing is, is in Michigan, they won't let you on them. I mean, you know, every trailhead has a sign. It says, no motorized vehicles. Well, e-bikes have a motor, so we're not allowed. All right, I'm going to get up on the sidewalk here. When I come up to this intersection, this is a main road. This is the infamous Gratiot Avenue. Used to be known for hot rod cruising, and man, it was a lot of fun when I was a teenager. I see this car turn to the left here. This is what you got to watch out for. Sometimes they see you, sometimes they don't. I always make sure that I make eye contact with him. He did make eye contact with me. He knows I'm here, but oftentimes people don't know. 
So this is Gratiot Avenue. So I'm waiting for my light. contract with me gave me a nod that was cool so check my shoulder make sure nobody else is coming and now I'm good to go and this mirror still ain't quite right there we go all right so I let all the traffic by I can get back in my in my spot here so yeah, so, you know, Michigan kind of stinks as far as, you know, the bike laws go, so, you know, you kind of have to do your best to blend in and still be able to enjoy your bike and be safe and not get run over. And <laughs> but having said that, like I said, I try to be, I try to be an advocate for cyclists. Um, you know, what I mean by that is, Okay, I, I, e bikes have gotten very, very popular from the pandemic and the lockdown. People couldn't do anything and they were buying bikes like crazy, and all of a sudden they became really, really popular. And a lot of them can be modified, and a lot of them are really fast. They go way faster than they're supposed to. Um, and you got these people that are riding these bikes and they'll do this. They'll get right out in the street and they'll ride right in traffic. And what does that do? Well, a couple things. One, it puts you at risk for getting hit. And two, all it does is it just irritates the motorist. You're, you're slow and that's not where you're supposed to be. You know, bicycles, mopeds, e-bikes, um, Michigan law states, you're supposed to be you're know, like in this area that I'm in right now three feet from the curb that's your that's what they allow you now you can't always do that like I said Michigan doesn't have a lot of bicycle friendly roads so you know you kind of kind of got to do what you got to do sometimes but I see a lot of guys you know they're just they do I don't know. They're not courteous. They just do stupid things. It's. I'm gonna four-way stop here. I can't tell what this guy's gonna do. He's got tinted windows. I'm gonna wave him through. There was a jack hole. He see he should have let me cross, and he didn't. You can never assume anything. I'll live <laughs> so you know I don't know just a, a little common courtesy goes a long way it's like I said it's like the wild wild west out here I, I just see so much illegal activity look you don't have to be you don't have to be a hooligan to have a good time you know there's a time for hooliganism and a place for it on the road, you're competing against a two-ton vehicle. That's not where you want to be an idiot. You'll lose. Okay, so that's enough, I guess, about harping on what an e-biker should do, how we should conduct ourselves when we're out on the road. Look, I, I, I love this bike. I would hate for a few bad apples to screw it up for everybody else. For me, I love this e-bike because I can ride it anywhere. I can ride it on the sidewalks. I can ride it in the street. Um, even though my bike looks kind of like a moped and it uh, kind of looks like a motorcycle because I got this tank bag on it. Um, Cops don't mess with me. 
you know, I, I don't do anything to draw attention. Uh, I've been riding down the sidewalk. I've had cops look over at me and give me the thumbs up. I was like, really? <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> so, I'm riding a little slower today than I normally do because it's cold. My ears are cold. My eyes are watering. See, this stop sign here, I usually just, I take a look. You know, I can see a long ways. There's no cars coming. I'm in a residential neighborhood. So I'll just kind of roll through the stop sign. Now, pretty soon I'm going to be out on a main road. I'm going to be out on Nine Mile Road, which is a main mile road. Here in Michigan, we got a lot of mile roads. Uh, and there, I won't ride in the street, not even next to the curb. It's just too dangerous. The road's, the road's not wide enough. So I stay up on the sidewalk. So the road that I'm coming up on is Nine Mile. Now everybody remembers the infamous, uh, what was the guy's name? Was it Eminem? He did the movie Eight Mile. <laughs> okay, so I'm a mile from Eight Mile. I've, uh, good morning. That's cool. Um, there again, you know, just a little courtesy. The guy was nice enough to give me a wave, say hi. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna wave back. Yield sign, no cars coming. So yeah, I, uh, when I was a boy, I grew up in San Diego, California. I grew up there in the 60s and the 70s. That was a great time to be in Southern California. When we moved here, my mother and I moved here. Uh, she came back here to get back close to her family. Um, I came with her. Uh, I was 15. We moved here in February of 1976 and I've been here in Michigan ever since. I've been here almost 50 years. I'm not going anywhere. My roots are planted. I love the way this aerial handles. It steers really quick. You can turn this thing and uh, see now this is nine mile. I'm uh, I just I stay on the sidewalks. You can see it's just it's not a good place to be on a bicycle. So I watch you know every street, take a look. My fingers are always on the brake levers. My eyes are watering, I'm crying. So here, you know, I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna hit the uh, green light, I can go. Nobody's coming on the left, I'm making a right turn. There, on the phone, not paying attention. the parking lot to go get some donuts don't even realize I'm there don't even care that's what I see more often than not you know I'm a I'm a commercial truck driver that's what I do you know, I'm a heavy haul truck driver and I drive semis and you know what you should ride around in the truck with me for a day and look down and see what people are doing in their cars 90% of them are not paying attention to their driving they're eating most, most of the time, they're on their phone. Constantly. They think it's a right. Now, here I've got a guy. Thank you. He slowed down to let me cross. turn, there's no right turn. <laughs> Just want to let you know I'm coming. 
morning. My horn's kind of loud, so when I do use it, I, I make sure I'm, a, you know, kind of a ways away from people. Otherwise, it'll scare the hell out of them. <laughs> tracks. This one's always fun. You gotta slow down. There again, like I said, this bike steers great. Okay, I got this truck turning. I better go. He waited for me. So riding along these buildings, you've got to be careful because you never know when a car is going to come out. That tree branch always makes me nervous. Good morning. I'm always afraid of hitting my head on it. Getting into kind of like a like an industrial area here. This is a big trucking company. This is mostly uh, okay. I'm in the Detroit area. This is in the Motor City, right? At least it used to be. I don't know what the hell it is now. Uh, the, all these trucks. This all supplies the automotive industry. This is that just-in-time part system. I did that for a little bit, you know, shuttling auto parts into the auto plants, into the Chrysler plants. Eh, it wasn't for me. Kind of boring. I don't know. See, am I going to make this light? Maybe. Make it. Holy crap, they got. See, normally I cross right there. What am I gonna do here? I guess I'll just come over here. No, I'm not crossing to that light green. And I gotta watch for the people that are turning right here. I don't know. Looks like there's a sign over there that says no right turn, but that doesn't mean they're gonna obey it. I think, uh, there we go. I'm good to go. Is that car going straight? Gotta make sure. Okay, <laughs> this is another section where you better have your fingers on your brake levers at all times. You know, okay, the street's easy to see, but there again, cars jet out from in between the buildings. I almost got picked off one day. See how this building is right on the corner here? You gotta slow down. You don't know if the car's gonna be coming. I almost got hit right here one morning. There was a guy in a van that was coming out of that parking lot. And he seen me and I seen him and I jammed on the brakes. I think we both got big eyes. <laughs> we surprised each other. He stopped, I stopped, I waved at him. Kind of went on through. So this is, uh, this, this right here, this company right here, this building, this is where I work. It's a big company. It's a bolt manufacturing company. Bolts, screws, that kind of thing. And we also have another, another division that does plating and heat treating and stuff like that. But this is where they actually form the bolts, you know, the header machines that make all the bolts. So this street here, we share with a garbage company. See the garbage company back there? 
so you got to be careful when you come in and out of here that's my truck over there that's my daily driver all right cool thing is they let me park my bike inside which is really cool I'm gonna take it down to level one place like I have, I get to keep mine in a locked lunch room. There we go, a little quieter in here, right? wasn't too bad of a ride. So my bike, when I'm here at work, I usually park it over in this corner. Nobody messes with it. Everybody that comes in here, there's only a few people that are allowed in this break room. You know, it's the header operators and the guys in maintenance, and they all know about my bike, and they all they all respect me and the bike, and nobody messes with it. That's really cool. So, that pretty much completes my ride for the day, my morning commute. I'm going to get my stuff out of my trunk, and I put the bike up against the wall, and... Um, I get my foldy lock out and then I lock it up it just keeps honest people honest all I do is just lock the wheel so you can't roll it away but uh, well that's it for the morning I'm gonna shut the camera off and uh, maybe I'll do a ride home <laughs> 